Hello everyone. And welcome back once again to another interesting video. In today's video we'll discuss, Top20.net interview questions and answers. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced programmer, this video is absolutely for you. So if you are ready, let's start today's video. The answers are meant to provide a comprehensive understanding of each topic. Keep in mind that the depth of your responses may vary based on your specific experience and the role you're applying for. Each question is accompanied by a detailed answer to help you prepare for your interview. Question 1. Explain the difference between managed code and unmanaged code in .NET. Answer. Managed code is code that is executed by the Common Language Runtime or CLR, while unmanaged code is code that is executed outside the CLR. Managed code is written in languages like c -sharp, VB.NET, etc., and it is automatically managed by the CLR for memory allocation and garbage collection. Unmanaged code, on the other hand, is written in languages like C and C++, and it is responsible for managing its own memory. Question 2. What is the Global Assembly Cache or GAC in .NET? Answer. The Global Assembly Cache or GAC is a repository in .NET where assemblies are stored globally, allowing them to be shared across multiple applications. Assemblies in the GAC must have a strong name, which includes a unique identity consisting of the assembly's name, version number, culture information, and a public key token. Question 3. Explain the concept of garbage collection in .NET. Answer. Garbage collection is the automatic process of reclaiming memory occupied by objects that are no longer in use. The Common Language Runtime or CLR in .NET includes a garbage collector that runs in the background, identifying and collecting unreferenced objects. This process helps manage memory efficiently and reduces the risk of memory leaks. Question 4. What is the role of the Common Language Runtime or CLR in .NET? Answer. The Common Language Runtime or CLR is a key component of the .NET framework responsible for managing the execution of .NET applications. It provides services such as memory management, exception handling, security, and thread management. The CLR also facilitates interoperability between different languages targeting the .NET framework. Question 5. What are the different types of authentication used in .NET? Answer. .NET supports various authentication mechanisms, including Windows authentication, Forms authentication, Passport authentication, and Certificate authentication. Windows Authentication uses the Windows Security Infrastructure, Forms Authentication allows custom login forms, Passport Authentication leverages Microsoft's Passport service, and Certificate Authentication uses digital certificates for authentication. Question 6. Explain the concept of ASP.NET View State. Answer. View state is a mechanism in ASP.NET to persist the state of a server control across postbacks. It stores the control state as a hidden field on the page, and this information is sent to the client browser. View state helps in maintaining the state of controls between requests and responses, allowing for a more stateful behavior in web applications. Question 7. What is the difference between the equals equals operator and the equals method in C sharp? Answer. The equals equals operator is used for comparing the values of two objects, while the equals method is used for comparing the content or values of objects. In simple types, such as integers, equals equals and equals behave similarly, but for reference types, they might behave differently depending on how the equals method is overridden. Question 8. Explain the concept of delegates in C Sharp. Answer. Delegates in C Sharp are reference types that hold references to methods, 
allowing method calls to be assigned as parameters, passed to other methods, or stored for later execution. Delegates provide a way to achieve callback functionality and are commonly used in event handling in GUI applications. Question 9. What is the purpose of the using statement in C Sharp? Answer. The using statement in C Sharp is used for automatic resource management, particularly for objects that implement the iDisposable interface. It ensures that the dispose method of the object is called when the block of code is exited, freeing up resources and improving memory management. Question 10. Explain the concept of dependency injection or DI in .NET. Answer. Dependency injection is a design pattern in .NET that involves injecting dependencies into a class rather than creating them within the class. This promotes loose coupling, making the application more maintainable and testable. In .NET, DI is often implemented using frameworks like Microsoft Extensions Dependency Injection. Question 11. What is the difference between String Builder and String in C Sharp? Answer. String Builder is a mutable sequence of characters, while String is immutable. This means that String Builder allows for efficient manipulation of strings, such as concatenation, without creating a new object each time. In contrast, operations on String create new String instances. Question 12. Explain the concept of polymorphism in object-oriented programming. Answer. Polymorphism allows objects of different types to be treated as objects of a common base type. In .NET, polymorphism is achieved through method overriding and interfaces. It enhances code reusability and flexibility by allowing different objects to be used interchangeably if they share a common interface or base class. Question 13. What is the purpose of the async and await keywords in C Sharp? Answer. The async and await keywords are used in C Sharp for asynchronous programming. Async is used to define an asynchronous method, and await is used to asynchronously wait for the completion of a task without blocking the execution of the program. This is especially useful in scenarios where non-blocking operations are needed, such as in GUI applications or web services. Question 14. Explain the concept of LNQ or Language Integrated Query in .NET. Answer. LNQ is a set of extensions to the .NET framework that adds query capabilities to C-Sharp and Visual Basic. It allows developers to write queries against collections, databases, XML, and other data sources using a syntax similar to SQL. LNQ provides a unified way to query different types of data using a common set of operators. Question 15. What is the purpose of the finally block in a try-catch finally statement? Answer. The finally block in a try-catch finally statement is used to specify a block of code that will always be executed, regardless of whether an exception is thrown or not. It is commonly used for releasing resources, cleanup operations, or any code that must run regardless of the outcome of the try-catch block. Question 16. Explain the concept of indexers in c -sharp. Answer. Indexers in c -sharp allow instances of a class or struct to be indexed just like arrays. They are defined using the this keyword and can have one or more parameters, allowing objects to be accessed using an index. Indexers provide a convenient way to access elements of a collection or container-like object. Question 17. What are the different types of authentication in ASP.NET? Answer. ASP.NET supports various authentication mechanisms, including Windows authentication, Forms authentication, Passport authentication, and Certificate authentication. Windows Authentication uses the Windows Security Infrastructure, Forms Authentication allows custom login forms, Passport Authentication leverages Microsoft's Passport service, and Certificate Authentication uses digital certificates for authentication. 
Question 18. Explain the concept of attributes in .NET. Answer. Attributes in .NET provide metadata about elements of a program, such as classes, methods, or properties. They are used to convey information to the runtime or other tools. Attributes are enclosed in square brackets, and can be applied to various program entities. Examples include the serializable attribute, which indicates that a class can be serialized, and the obsolete attribute, which marks elements as outdated. Question 19. What is the purpose of the app config or web.config file in .NET? Answer. The app config, for desktop applications, or web.config, for web applications, file in .NET is used to store configuration settings for an application. It allows developers to define settings such as database connection strings, custom application settings, and other configuration parameters. These settings can be easily modified without recompiling the application. Question 20. Explain the concept of inversion of control or IOC and how it is implemented in .NET. Answer. Inversion of control or IOC is a design principle in which the control flow of a program is inverted, and the framework or container is responsible for managing the flow of control. In .NET, IOC is often implemented using dependency injection containers like Microsoft Extensions.Dependency Injection. These containers manage the creation and lifetime of objects, promoting loose coupling and making applications more modular and testable. Conclusion These questions cover a range of topics related to .NET and should help you prepare for an interview with a focus on your experience in the technology. Keep in mind that interview questions can vary, so it's essential to have a strong understanding of the fundamentals and be ready to discuss your practical experiences and problem-solving skills. Good luck with your interview. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for more content. So you don't miss any upcoming video. And, if you have any questions or topics, you'd like us to cover in future videos. Please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.